You are watching Sammy, the Interviewing Toucan, made possible by the Indiana Young Reader Center. Hey, everybody. I'm Sammy, and I'm here today with Kathy Doherty. Hi, Kathy. Oh, hi, Sammy. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Oh, very well. Thanks for asking. Oh, that's great. So, Kathy, can you go ahead and start out by telling us a little bit about yourself and about your connection to Indiana? Well, I grew up in Chicago, and when I got married, my husband and I moved to Indiana. I have been a resident of Cherville, Indiana for 41 years. So I, I'm a reading specialist and retired early to write children's books. Oh, I love that. I've got one of your books here. It's called Don't Feed the Bear. Yes. And it's super cute. It's sort of a witty book with argument about words, right? Mm -hmm. It sure is. I love that. Can you tell us a little bit about your other work? First time I got published, I got published in Time Magazine way back in 2000. I wrote a letter to Time Magazine when Charles Schultz died. He had been writing to my students. Every year I would teach letter writing to my third and fourth grade students. And he was gracious enough to answer every child's letter. He would answer their questions. He would send them a little autograph. So he did that for 25 years. So when he died in, in 2000, I wrote a letter to Time Magazine to explain all the wonderful things he had done for my class and what we had learned about Charles Schultz. And they published the letter. And it was so fun to see myself in print, I decided I wanted to try to be an author. Oh my goodness, that is just amazing that he that fun, was a fun story. Yes, he was so considerate and, and generous of his time. Yes. And he might have done that for other teachers. I don't know, but he did that for me every single year for 25 years. Oh, I love that. Gosh. So you got published in time. And then is this yeah. your debut book or do you have others? That is my very first picture book. I do have a second one coming out in April of 2021. So it'll actually be out by the time this airs. Do you know yes. the title? It's the Fingity Jig. Ah! It's uh, illustrated by Christina Litton. And it's, you know, I can just read a silly page out of it for you, I guess, here. That would be great. Get a taste. Um, little Bear goes into People Town and finds a Fingity Jig, which is really between you and me, it's a couch. The oh. bear doesn't know what to call a couch, so he calls it a thingity jig. Oh, that's fun. And it's a bouncy thing. And so it's, okay, so here's, here's a page where he's bouncing on it. The thingity jig was a springy thing, a bouncy thing, a sit on it, hop on it, jump on it thing. Bear hurried home to tell his friends. Okay, so that, that is that book. This is just the paper copy that I have for now. And then I wrote for Highlights Magazine for years. Oh, my years. goodness. I write for the Baby Magazine, Highlights Hello. Aww. I write for Highlights High Five. And I write for the Big Boy, Big Girl Magazine, Highlights. Oh, that's so fun. You know, I always uh, equate Highlights with going to the dentist office. Oh, yes. Or the doctor's yes. office, you know. But there's, it's such a wonderful magazine. If parents don't know about highlights, you know, I always assume everybody knows about highlights. But if you don't know about highlights, go check it out because it's a really wonderful yes. thing to look forward to every month if you have young children. It's and, wonderful. you know, um, it's yes. so nice that they have different age levels represented, mm -hmm. too. Yes. It, it's, it's just fun to be an author. I love it. So, Kathy, it sounds like you've been writing for quite a while and being published for quite a while. Where are you right now in your creative journey, and where do you hope to be someday? Are you hoping to just keep churning out books? <laughs> I hope so. I, I really like to write picture books. I did sell an easy reader, which is for about preschool, kindergarten, first graders. I sold, that's, that's my third book. You have Don't Feed the Bear, and then you just saw The Thingity Jig. But the third book, we don't have a publication date yet, and that was sold to Highlights. Oh. They contacted me to write an easy reader. So it might turn into a series. I don't know yet, but I, with the pandemic, it's, the book is kind of on hold. I don't know the 
publication date. Well, I'll keep my wings crossed for you because that would be super great. It you know, would be you, fun. Yes. You know, and I love that you taught letter writing to your students. <laughs> That's so great. Yes. Kathy, can I tell you really quickly about a program that we do at the State Library all about letter writing? Sure. That'd be perfect. Yeah, so we run this program called Letters About Literature, and it's a program where students in grades 4 through 12 write a letter to an author, living or deceased, whose one work has made a difference in how they see themselves or how they see the world. And it's a writing contest, and we run it every single year. So I know it's summer now, but students will be able to register for it really in the fall. Doesn't that sound like fun? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great thing. So Kathy, I've been asking all of my authors to share a little something. Do you have a show and tell there today? I do. Oh, what do you have? I brought, I have George. George. Hi, George. Say hello to Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi, George. How are you today? Uh, uh, George is just a little shy sometimes, oh. but George, you know what? Sammy's very friendly. Hey, I'm sorry, I got my big beak in my camera. Let me back up. <laughs> is he is he a puppy dog? Yes, he is a puppy oh. dog. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, how sweet. Yeah. George, do you have nose a... isn't wet oh. and he doesn't make any messes and I don't have to walk him or feed him. Gosh. He sure is fun to have around. That's a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sweet. Does George have a favorite color? Oh, like me, red. He loves red. Oh, I like red, That's too. my favorite color, and George loves red, too. Right, George? <laughs> oh, my tongue is red. <laughs> oh, George thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> George, maybe we can be pen pals and we could write letters to each other. Oh, that would be great. That would be so fun. Well, gosh, Kathy, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's been delightful. And everybody, this is your favorite Hoosier Toucan, encouraging you to read local. So long.